thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming this afternoon, and to Karen and to Andy Bonacci and to Nancy Wykowski and all the others who helped to make this a, a very special afternoon for all of us and for all of our uh, students. We welcome you here to this uh, historic theater, the Colonial Theater, uh, started in 1903. It's 170 years uh, uh, it took uh, for a lot of different mayors. Uh, for those of you who might remember when I was in grade school, I was elected mayor of, uh, of uh, I was elected mayor of this city 37 years ago. Uh, and it took all that time to Jimmy Roberto, our friend, uh, to make this dream uh, come true. Uh, and Westfield State, also, 1838, founded by Horace Mann, the father of public higher education in this country, uh, as the first institution in America that had no barrier to race, no barrier to gender, and no barrier to economic class, the People's College, 1838. And tomorrow, in the Springfield Republican, as a special uh, feature for them, uh, they're going to present something that I think all of our students and all of you will be very proud of. Mass Inc., which does all the research uh, in Boston for business and industry, uh, using all the Federal Department of Education statistics, uh, did a survey and a study uh, to rank the best institutions in Massachusetts for the highest quality, for the most affordable, and the highest graduation rates. And in the top 20, there were only two public institutions. Number six was MIT. Number five was Amherst College. Number four was Williams College. Number three was the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. Number two was Harvard University. Number one was Westfield State College. Thank you.